Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and this video is going to be a, a quick overview of the changes that are coming up to some of the maps that are already in play in 8.10. For example, we're looking at Airfield. We can see that the undulation has been decreased, so to say here, to give you some less cover from hanging in on the wall. And also, you're able to progress further out into the sea without drowning. We can see there's a sandbar here that is clearly visible. You can use this to be able to progress faster through the southern area. However, very little else has changed on airfield. Let's take a look at our next map. Here we are on mines, one of my favorite maps, and we can see they've made some changes up here. There is now a rock in the way to stop you from shooting down on this corner because they've made balance changes there. However, we still use our excellent gun depression that we can see on the Japanese tank. We're able to still take advantage of shooting down into the town. The other side is barely changed, but more importantly, that there is now a gigantic pass in this rock. You all know that previously, this position here had a, a mount which prevented shooting the enemy tanks, which basically turned this into a heavy corner that everyone would gravitate to and it would become a stalemate. However, no more. There's an opportunity to shoot through here. Use this spur that comes out from the, the rock face. Point your gun over to get advantage shots on the enemy. And it should basically remove camping as much from mines on this pass. Interestingly, these buildings over here will probably become a lot more useful. You can hide behind the building and then pop out and shoot, provide another angle of assault on people are here. And these changes are happening in the encounter, and as far as I'm aware, the regular game mode. So look out for that on mines. The current meta of the game is about to be changed. Now we're looking at steps, and we can see that there's been some rather impressive changes down the eastern side of the map. Previously, the team that spawned at the south would have this horrible area that they had to progress to. You'll know that I advocate rushing here in your medium tanks and spotting the enemy as they make their way down here and shooting them lots and also spotting for your friends to shoot them lots. However, this new mound that comes out here will provide you with the opportunity to advance to it from the other side and to have a little bit of cover and give you another opportunity to avoid fire on your pass down to, in my opinion, Opinion, the most important area of the map which is the east on standard and the encounter game. So now we're going to take a quick look at some of the Corellia changes. We can see that the previous hard cover that was here with the rock that stuck out is now soft cover which means that the initial camping that was going to happen around here has been pretty much negated. I'm not sure if that rock was previously there. I think I would remember if it wasn't. So that provides sort of like a, a halfway rock for you to be able to progress to put pressure on the enemy. We can also see that this corner is a, a lot softer, so to say. And that'll allow you to progress a lot more aggressively down this side of the map. So now we're looking at the biggest changes, in my opinion, of any of the, the revamped maps, and that is El Halu. Yeah, okay, El Haloop has a, a giant mound in the middle now with a town on it. This means that the suicide rushing down into this area here at the beginning of the game is now gone, really. People are going to be able to easily just drive down to the mound, shoot people who try and poke down here, try and shoot across at the other side. It really will liven up El Haloop. One thing that you will find on El Haloof is that usually the fight was gravitating towards the north. And what that meant is that less and less and less people were initially doing the fight here. If you went back a year ago, all that you would see would be fighting along these opposite ridge lines with people spotting and getting huge amounts of spotting damage for their team. However, more and more and more and more people were gravitating towards the north because this fighting was becoming less and less efficient and becoming a stalemate for other teams. As you can see, there are a large mounds now that really will allow you to progress towards the encounter cap more effectively. And just the, the, the undulations and the, the area for cover in the middle of the map is just so much increased. So it's not going to be about basically progressing along the north and progressing along the south. There's also going to be opportunities to, to hold central locations in the middle of the map. We can see that this area here is changed as well. There's now not such a hard line of cover here and that it's going to be harder for you to progress around this open area. It also encourages the enemy team to come up here a lot more and try and flank around. If you can try and breach through this gap up to here, then you might be able to get across to here and get shots down on your opponents. 
There is a nice rock there that will provide you with cover, and maybe you can change the angle of engagement with your friends. Also, if you're able to get up here, if there's no artillery, there will be some opportunities for you to shoot. However, it's quite risky, because as we know, lots of tank destroyers like to sit around here and like to drop shots in on you. Basically, what has happened is that they've made the north a lot more passable, in my opinion. Most of the fighting did happen around here, and basically it became kind of a corner poke, corner poke, corner poke, until one team got the advantage and then rolled the other team. Now with these areas which you can pass and try and flank your enemy, it should be a lot more interesting. Now I'm going to show you the pass as if you were coming from the, the northern base, the red base. We can see that there are rocks here, which are very, very, very important. They will provide you with lots of cover from up here once you progress around this corner. This also rock that was on this corner is now gone. Many of you will know that I basically spend most of my time on Elder Loop around this rock. I like to push the tree out and get spots on the enemy up there. However, now, once you progress around this corner, there will be an opportunity for them to maybe shoot you once. But if they don't manage to get that initial shot off, you're going to be able to get to these rocks, and then you should be in a really good position to then try and dig yourself out. However, that'll make this position up here all the more worthwhile, as people will like to gravitate towards here, and then you're going to be able to poke out and take easy shots on them. There is also now a halfway rock, so to say. Let's say that the enemies have repaired all of their firepower and you've only made it to this rock and you don't want to go any further. Then don't. Just sit pretty behind this rock. Hope that you have enough cover from enemies that like to progress along here. Interestingly, as we can see, you're now able to progress up here. It's absolutely changing. Just completely changing. It really is. Previously, to be able to get up here, you had to go around this this outcrops here, this rocky outcrop, which allowed you to get shot from up here and from up here. Now, if you manage to get down into this area, you can just sneak up, which is going to make getting up here all the more worthwhile. Of course, there are still opportunities for the enemy, as you can see here in my sniper zoom, but if they do spot you there, then they can put an absolutely massive shot out on you. So you're going to have to be a bit sneaky when you still try to get up here. So now you're going to see a route that I would like to take from the, the southern side, and that is to sneak down this way, get shots onto your enemies that are there, use that undulation and the gun depression to get shots on your enemies and hopefully not get shot yourself. We can see that you're still in cover from there because of this rock that's now there. So basically when you progress down this area, you're going to be in cover from the opposite side. This corner is going to be a lot more interesting to progress around. You do have a little bit of cover, but there is still that initial shot opportunity. And then we have undulations to work along here. So if you've got good gun depression, then you should have lots of opportunities to really shoot your way out of this. It's also going to make, previously, people would rush along this dippy bit to get to here and get to here, get underneath the gun line here. However, now that there's so much cover, people are probably going to be able to go up and utilize this eastern area of the map that was previously not really used all that much. I think the changes on El Haloof are going to make it a, a much more action-packed map. I don't think we're really going to be seeing the old camping on the, the south side and the north side and opportunistic tank destroyers in the middle trying to shoot at what people would previously call donkeys. People would probably think that it were it was, it was the worst players that would initially be um, going across the middle of the map. However, I really think that now with the the large mounds in the middle of the map, it's probably going to be the better players that like to take the risks to get to those mounds and then spot out from them. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed these previews of the changes that are upcoming to the regular maps in 8.10. If you did, please consider rating the video down below, I'd really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what you think about the changes on these maps, especially the changes on El Haloof, because I feel that it really does totally change the map now. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, you've been epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.